Welcome to this Internet Geography short covering landforms of coastal erosion. Coastal erosion leads to the formation of a range of landforms being created along the coast. The landforms created largely depend on the material that forms the cliff. More resistant materials such as chalk leads to the formation of classic coastal landforms such as arches, stacks and stumps. Where there is a combination of hard and soft material, bays and headlands can form. A headland is a cliff that sticks out into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides. Headlands are formed from hard rock that is more resistant to erosion such as limestone, chalk and granite. Headlands form along discordant coastlines where the rock type alternates between more resistant and less resistant rock at right angles to the coastline. Due to the different geology, erosion occurs at different rates. This is known as differential erosion. Less resistant rock, such as boulder clay, erodes more rapidly than more resistant rock, such as chalk. The bands of soft rock, such as sand and clay, erode more quickly than those of resistant rock, such as chalk. This leaves a section of land jutting out into the sea called a headland. The areas where the soft rock has eroded away next to the headland are called bays. Sandy beaches are often found in sheltered bays where waves lose energy and their capacity to transport material decreases, resulting in material being deposited. Cliffs and wave-cut platforms are landforms of erosion commonly found along the coast. Processes of coastal erosion and weathering are responsible for shaping cliffs. Less resistant, soft rock erodes quickly forming gentle and sloping cliffs. More resistant, hard rock forms steep cliffs. Where cliffs are made from more resistant rock, wave-cut platforms are often formed. A wave-cut platform is a wide, gently sloping surface found at the cliff's base and extends into the sea. A wave-cut platform is formed when the sea attacks a weakness in the base of the cliff. For example, this could be a joint in chalk. A wave-cut notch is created by erosional processes such as hydraulic action and abrasion. As the notch becomes larger, the cliff becomes unstable and collapses because of gravity. The cliff then retreats inland. The material from the collapsed cliff face is eroded and transported away. This leaves a wave-cut platform. The process repeats over time. A headland is an area of hard rock that sticks out into the sea. When the headlands erode, they create distinct features such as caves, arches, stacks and stumps. The first stage in the erosion of a headland involves the widening of joints and bedding planes, enlarging cracks by erosional processes such as hydraulic action and abrasion and weathering processes such as salt crystallization. Erosion continues, leading to the formation of a cave. The cave increases in size as the refracted waves concentrate their energy on the sides of the headlands, further enlarging the cave. Eventually, the cave erodes through the headlands to form an arch. Wave-cut notches widen the arch. Weathering and erosion weaken the roof of the arch until it collapses under its own weight, leaving a column of rock called a stack. In time, the base of the stack is eroded, causing it to collapse, leaving a stump. You can find out more about coastal landforms of erosion on internetgeography.net. Please check out the comments to links to more information and quizzes on internet geography. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates.